Michael and I started the Roswell Music Club in late 2019, a few months after we moved here. And the first two or three we had in our house, which is next door, but not this gated community we live next door. <laughs> and we met Tammy because she and Kurt came to one of the concerts, and she hosted our very first Roswell Music Club concert outside of our home. And she's hosting the last outside of our home, sort of. This is Tammy Werner. Thank you for About 10 or 11 months ago, I contacted my Melissa Hall and Gardens. How many of you have ever been there in downtown Roswell? So, a third. It, is built, it was built in the 1840s, and it's sort of like this, but it was built in the 1840s. <laughs> and so when you walk in the entry hall, to the left is the living room, but they knocked down a wall, so it's a very long salon kind of living room. And I thought, what a great place to have the Roswell Music Club. Because Michael and I have to rent the chairs, pick them up, transport them, break them down, put them back, take them back. Pain in the you-know-what, right? <laughs> and I met Scott Hitch who's here with his wife, Angie. There they are. Becky, would you stand up? <laughs> Scott is an attorney, but you'll like him anyway. <laughs> he is the president of the Roswell Arts Fund and sits on the board of the, uh, which is a nonprofit, and sits on the board of the nonprofit Friends of Amos Hall and Gardens. And with his help, he entered the picture three months ago, Max, and in this time frame, he made it happen. And you know what it's like to do a bureaucracy in the city, oh, I'll call you back, oh, we'll do this, and they don't ever do it. He made it happen. So next April, on the third Sunday, which is Easter, we're going to have our first concert. So go to church, sing Christ the Lord is Risen Today. Come to my church if you want to hear eight string players and three percussionists and a clarinet and a choir. Um, but, and then go home and eat, and then come to my last Holland Gardens. The capacity is 80 people. We have approximately 200 members of the Roswell Music Club. We have a bunch of new ones today that come to these concerts. Scott has said that he'll set aside 40 tickets for the Roswell Music Club for the first two weeks. And then after that, it's first come, first serve. So if you want to be part of the inaugural concert, uh, it's going to now be called Roswell at Mimosa Hall, part of the pop-up series of concerts or something like that, by the Roswell Arts Fund. And uh, I'm, it's going to be a fabulous concert. It's going to be a gala affair. <laughs> I'll be as gala as you want. <laughs> My pleasure. <laughs> but, so please go home and get your tickets. We're changing some things. I don't have to bring chairs anymore. <laughs> And we're not allowed, because it's a city-owned facility, to have people bring in food and wine. So they, we've made a pricing change. So the tickets are 30 bucks plus the processing fee and tax, okay, rather than 20 Still a great deal, and the wine and the food are included. Okay, and so it's still extremely reasonable for the quality that we bring you. I wanted to tell you just a little bit about who's coming. In August, I'm going to go backwards. From August, we have Victoria Hill, who is the first runner up to Miss America and is a senior at Juilliard, and who will be coming here from New York to entertain you. And she is lovely. She's great. She's, 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 great. she's great. She is great. In July, we have one of the best 
and most renowned clarinetist in the world today, Carnegie Hall of Dubai, everywhere, with everybody he's played. He's young and handsome and 30-something. <laughs> he plays classical, he plays blues, he plays jazz. His name is Andy Hudson, and he's coming from North Carolina. Uh, in July, in June, we have two theatrical artists, M.K. Penley and Andre Ellery, and they're going to be doing music. It's the first non-classical concert we've really done. And they're going to be doing music from Songs for a New World by Jason Robert Brown and, and, and selections from Miss Behaven by Bess uh, Waller. She's fantastic, too. So is he. <laughs> In May, we have uh, LaShawn Lewis, who is not read a theatrical baritone from Las Vegas, who's coming here. And then next month, we have Tiffany uh, Zoyje, who is out for Atlanta. And to me, it's like a young Jesse Norman. She's that special. And so you look at the, art, the caliber and the quality of artists that will be doing for us. It makes, it fills my heart with joy. I love to accompany great artists. And I've had the pleasure of working with Anne and with all, and the ones in the past and the ones upcoming. RoswellMusicClub.com and just pick the concert you want to go. But if you want to go to see Tiffany on Easter Sunday, get your ticket quick, okay? And uh, you get anything out. <coughs> I certainly hope not. <laughs> I, I had a little bit of one. <laughs> Yes. Oh, yes, 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 thank you. Um, I want to reintroduce my extraordinary friend, who I am so honored to accompany. She, every time I play for her, she does something different. If it's the same material, she makes me laugh and find joy in the quality of her performance. Please welcome back Miss Anne Marie McClure.
Did anybody know that song? Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's what we were going for. <laughs> All right, now, uh, uh, looking for a male volunteer. <laughs> Not everybody, all at once, <laughs> one at a time. Yes? Good. <laughs> <laughs> Why, thank you. <laughs> all right, come on up, sir. <laughs> yes. Yes, he's a willing volunteer. He's just excited. <laughs> Yum. 
some very serious looks. <laughs> I like it. I know you're speaking. Ah, all right. This one, I know y'all are going to be excited about this. This one is a crowd participation. Oh, yeah. All right, pay attention, because you're going to have to know the answer. Me too. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. <laughs> Thank you. 